Hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel. Damn Chanel's 40 world where she talked to her family when she can't talk to herself and it makes sense. So she had to come on over here to the channel that she established to talk with her folks, like-minded folks, and different folks. Girl, what is Candy Burris Tucker doing? This was her first house that she purchased with her own money. And 19 years old, no shoes would escape, and the girl knows how to save. Okay, she's very frugal, love to keep her ducks in a row, but this is the house she lived in that Mama Joyce was so proud of her, getting her first home, and letting her know this, that, and the third, and solidifying herself as a true woman, because that's when she had Riley, when her and Mama Joyce had to raise Riley by themselves, along with the other aunts, I'm sure. But yeah, that's Candy back in her heyday, hun. Looking all cute and all of that. But yeah, and that Riley, her, her baby, her fur baby, she's so proud of. She's doing well. She's doing things out there. And she's going to probably have to save her mama later on when she has to hook her up with a, being an attorney lawyer. If that's basically what she's still trying to be. Something similar to what Phaedra uh, calls herself doing but she might be a lot more successful than Fra uh, Phaedra's track record but everything was going pretty good till she met this young man named Todd Tucker child she met him on the Real Housewives of Atlanta yeah and Phaedra was a part of that and she bought this house guys it's like two mini houses on one piece of property that has a lot of land as well and that's where all of her family resides meaning her two girls her son and her husband and sometimes uh it costs it costs to be the boss but she's still trying to be in charge and she has kayla over there whenever however kayla seems she wants to fit in okay she got to get in where she could fit in over there at the tourist bucker residence okay but, like I said, Candy Burris bought her first home, that modest little home that came on the screen. Uh, it was pretty. And back in the day, that was a nice piece of property. And I think she bought it for like two something, two, two, 200000 200, and something. But she definitely made a pretty, pretty penny out of it because it sold for, uh, which is kind of weird, $555K. Uh, I don't know, with them fives, you know what I'm saying. But you might have some numer numerological or numeric measures to it. I just, I'm not in astrology, so I don't know where this 555 came from. But that's what she sold her modest home for. Don't know why she sold it, because that was a nice property that she could have rented out. Because I think Mama Joyce was uh, staying in that house for a while. She had called herself moving her boyfriend and then from what candy was saying he was tearing shit up he was tearing the whole house up trying to be mr fix it man over there and didn't know what he was doing didn't know what he was doing because they even had it on the uh show on whatever seasons way way back way way back when but anyway uh can't hit her up and move her mama out and evict her mama's boyfriend as well allegedly and i think she kind of moved her mama into another house or whatever well, she really should have just got her mama a condominium, gated community. Come, Miss Joyce don't need all that. She don't got, you know, seasons. She don't be worried about no upkeep no yard, no repairs and stuff like that. But then again, whatever Candy Mama want, I'm sure Candy make sure it happens, okay? Because her mama did a lot for her, sacrificed a lot for her when she was young and trying to make it in the music industry. So, you know, hey. Mean like Mama Joyce remarried and I guess Can don't too much like her suitors that she's hooking up with these days and she said I got mama. Come with hell or high water, that's my mama, I got mama. Okay? Only I can fuss with my mama. Cause I'm pretty sure, sure Todd has some choice words for Miss Mama Joyce, but like Mama Joyce said, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me off your ass. That's what she told Todd Tucker. And Todd Tucker better know Mama Joyce mean business when she meant that, okay? She wasn't smoking and she wasn't drinking. She was in her good sober mind. She would get all up in Tucker's behind on anything that Candy 
had a mishap on it. She probably want to get on them because, you know, she didn't like the name, the OLG gang, like the old lady gang, like they in some western and stuff. But Candy let them went on and did what he had to do. She done moved everybody in the house, you know, missing Kayla over there. But, you know, it just is what it is. I'm going to pass on that one too, Aretha. I'm going to pass on that one too. But, hey, what can we say? Kayla's here sometimes. Kayla ain't there sometimes. And that's just it. What it is, Aretha. That's it. What, what it is. Candace, cool with it. Everybody else, cool with it. So, for the viewers, we ain't cool with it. But, hey, we vicariously looking through their lives. You know what I'm saying? So, they give us what we got or we keep it moving, okay? But, again, like I said, it ain't none of my business. But, um, I found a story from Radar Online. They done dug up on Candy. You know how these vicious bloggers, they got the numbers. They be going in. They be going to find out what you done did, what you done bought, how much you paid for anything that's public record. These top bloggers, to keep their numbers up and keep them in the number one stats. Just like, you know, being on um, TV shows. You want to have your ratings up so you can continue to be in prosperous. And, you know, more advertisers and, and more business partners will probably want to do business with you. Because they, you know, feel like you have a large following. People uh, tend to like what you say and go with whatever you say. And you can endorse their products later on down the road. So that's pretty much what it is when these bloggers hit those numbers real high. And they have a large, large uh, following. And that's Miss Nene over there. I heard through the grapevine. And I'm talking about the social media grapevine. She still can't sell that mansion of hers. I'm like, can you hook her up with your realtor? Because if you sold your modest home and it ain't nowhere compared to this home, Okay, that's more in comparison to the home that you're living in right now, Candy. She can't say that, 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 ooh. I guess it would be an eyesore to her now because she trying to get rid of it. Come hell or high water. First, she was selling it for $5 million. Then she sliced it down. Well, she had to come off 300000 uh, 300, Now she even coming off it. I'm like, girl, sell that thing for $1 million. And if nobody won't buy this in at least six, well, two months. Girl, slice it on down to five, 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 and I'm sure you'll be the lost the money that you put in, but you'll be out of it. Okay, I just don't know why they don't want to buy your house, Nene. Is it spooky? Is it haunted? What's going on? Is it a nice prime real estate? Why your house ain't sold? And unbeknownst to any of us, we didn't know Candy Modest home, which was that one, her first home she bought at the age of 19. Uh, we didn't know she was selling her home. So, that's one for the books. Because she done sold her home. Don't know what list is she. I'm pretty sure it wasn't with Sobe. Because uh, Sobe is what the upper echelon. Real rich property. And this was, you know, like I said, Modest Thomas in Fairville, Georgia. She had a lot of land on it or whatnot. But it wasn't quite, you know, up there with, you know, quarter of a million. Well, I guess it was a quarter of a million. Uh, 500K. Yeah. But I'm talking about like 1 million on up. That's what Sobe. I think it's spelled S-O-T-H-E-B-Y or something like that. They sell the carrots of houses. You know, like you have the diamonds, the carrots, and all that kind of stuff. That's what I'm talking about. The lucrative, lucrative. But whoever. I think it's Sobe's. Um, Nene is um, using as a real estate agent. But she might need to crack on down there and find out who can to use them. Because I ain't like say. Didn't know her house was up for sale. But as soon as it was up, it was sold. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't, I'm trying to understand. Now, I read a little bit of this article that Radar brought out. And it ain't pleasing. And it's not appetizing to the taste. And it got Todd Tucker name written all over it. I'm like, girl, don't let this man. This man, who's supposed to have came with his own piece of a revenue of some sort, whatever it was, I don't know. Because they say you buy your, your husbands out there, can you buy your boyfriends or whatnot. But uh, where is Todd Tucker money, girl? Because we, we just don't see anything, you know, he's producing, putting out there. They got Todd Tucker Enterprises or Todd Tucker LLC or Todd Tucker Business. You know what I'm saying? Anything, okay, with his name in it. Or on it or around it something because this article that I'm getting ready to release 
on my channel it's talking about you having some financial issues and some liens that taxes unpaid taxes i'm like where is Todd helping you and all this girl you are not in this relationship by yourself Girl, you know you don't want Mama Joyce on your ass. You know you don't. Because she don't want to see you go bl blowing up in flames. And the only thing you got to show is the mansion that you living in now. And you might not have that. You keep fooling around with uh, Todd and his investments. And these things that are not coming to fruition. I mean, uh, your baby girl, Lonnie had told you about it before she moved out and went to New York to find herself. Meaning to go to school, develop her craft she wants to be involved in, which it seems to be like uh, the law. Uh, and, you know, she's grooming herself in her career and her education. And she's going to be a force to be reckoned with. And we don't want her to have to be her uh, finding some of her friends she went to law school with to be doing some divorce attorney thing situation going on. Because you know she'll put that in your ear. And she'll be telling you the loopholes and stuff. But I know you were forced. You was forced because you wanted the man. And, and you got the man. And he came with a price. So girl, we're going to get on into this article. Because I hope you didn't sell your first home. That you could probably gave to your grandkids. Okay. But then again, who knows? They probably want to live in the house anymore either. You know, I don't know. I'm just talking out the side of my head, you know. But, um, yeah. Girl, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, Ken. I don't know about this Todd thing because he got these two restaurants. No, got three restaurants. Two OLGs and the Blaze and Steak restaurant or whatever. And you ain't got Ace nothing. It's shine you didn't donate him no restaurant, but you, you, like I said, you might need to be selling those restaurants and get on out of it because you, you just don't have enough money to keep, you know, throwing in a hole, or a bottomless pit. And, and Todd ain't, you know, he is he is he furnishing anything, girl, besides the love making. Is he furnishing anything, okay? Anyway, we're going into the article. It was written by Ryan. Um... I think his name is Nom, a uh, Nomen, whatever. Okay, it was published yesterday, and uh, we, you know, we want Ken to stay richly in the home that she's in. But you know how some people they get a divorce or they have a rocky marriage, just like one of the uh, people in the in the union, you know, lose their life or whatever, and then you don't want the house no more. Well, you know, she they say now she say she bought the home now. I don't know, cause buying the home is the same thing as paying a mortgage where. Once you finish making the notes, it's yours. But Candace giving us an impression that she bought it lock, stock, and barrel 503. Okay, so I, I don't know. I don't know because, you know, I you know, say you invest in these uh, celebrity lives and before you know it, you come with it. You think it's there. They've been leasing it all along. But, hey, as long as she keep a roof over her head to the day she died. I ain't got nothing to say about her, okay? But she definitely need to uh, give Nene her uh, realtor's name and number so she can get out from under the sinkhole she's in with that Titanic house that's really sinking her. Because I, whew, how many times are you going to slash the house, girl? How many times are you going to slash the house? Instead of just bringing it on down for $1 million, okay? Or 800000 Take your losses. Go move out of town to, uh, what do you call it? Um, it won't be Beverly Hills, but you can come go somewhere in, in Los Angeles, I guess, if you want to start your career <coughs> out there in the sunny oaks, valleys down there. But we're going to go into the article. Uh, it was titled Real Housewives of Atlanta star Candy Bird sells off modest second Georgia home for a fifty five well five hundred and fifty five thousand amid her restaurant's health grade struggles. See how you can see what see where we're going with this? Troubles in the land. Troubles in the matrimony land. Yeah, that's Nene's house. And definitely Nene need to be talking to Candy Birds. Because Candy got some fast-ass relatives that can get that soul. You know how them things you be looking at in the news or you might be going by in the street. And you might pass a bus or something and say, we buy ugly houses. Or we buy, you know, houses. 
maybe you know nini can't find a, a reputable realtor we might have to go that way nini we might have to go that way to sell your bucket of boats mansion over there that even you don't want to live in okay you don't want to live in and i know it's draining you dry and I, I pray that you definitely get from under that um that burden because that's a hell of a lot of house hell of a lot of money going out a month to own that house initially yeah, i'm sure that's what you and greg were trying to do but you know he passed your things changed and he probably said get from under all this debt you know and try to live a life that's according to what you can afford okay ma'am and lord no she's trying she's trying but i'm like nitty you shouldn't have trashed that house because you knew you weren't gonna get that kind of money for that house girl i don't know who told you you could get it but this ain't a buyer's market anymore okay <sighs> but anyway going back to the article it says uh real housewives of atlanta star candy birds have unloaded one of her properties for a half a million dollars okay a half a million now like how much debt are you in with these restaurants candy you might need to just say toodaloo goodbye saranara i tried it didn't work i'm moving on because i don't found something i want to do which is to produce which is to be behind the scenes and produce plays produce movies produce anything because you sure ain't producing in that restaurant and it takes you to be there totally with that restaurant in order for you know it, it really is your baby in a sense you got to be there watching it grow you can't just be on the road and and having somebody else manage it for you and you you know you're gonna be like Gladys Knight and her son with them chicken and waffles thing you see how that turned out the brother is in jail he's in jail for at least three years okay girl so we don't want that to happen to you or any of your family members that may be down there at the OLG restaurant one and two or Blake uh, Blaze they can see food we don't want that to be happening because the inspections haven't come up either still arranging for a C. So, if you're in that kind of trouble, girl, we don't want you to have to sell out that property and then that mansion, mansion of a property just to keep your pride intact. Cut it loose, Candy. Whatever's not making you money, when, what else not bringing you residuals back in with interest, cut it loose. And that means if you have to cut tar loose, cut it loose. Free your soul. Free your spirit. It ain't about money all the time. It ain't no sense of you making money, being frugal with it, and it's growing interest in your investments, and then have to go and, and, and sell all property because your husband out here uh, getting you into all this foolishness. All this foolishness going around here. With your name on and also, it ain't nothing to go going along with it. Ain't nothing going on, girl. But anyway, going back to the article. It said, according to the real estate records obtained by Radar, the Bravo star found a buyer for her four-bedroom, five-bathroom, 3,733 square feet of a home loaded, located in Fairville, Georgia. Uh, the home was brought for uh, 555K. The last sale listed for the home was back in 96 for 252K. So, yes, she made a profit off that sale. Okay, which is when Candy presumably purchased that pad. That means the reality star made a pretty penny on the sale. Y'all got back in, you know, 96 houses was going like that. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, with the house prices increasing with, you know, the cost of living and all that jazz, that brought up her uh real estate property that she had because she kept it immaculate she did some upgrades so she she got what she needed to have okay but not if she's trying to pay out loans and debt because she just lost she lost some valuable property that she had made money on instead of putting it on to riley's college education or ace or or um, blaze you know she had to go dump it into some stuff she didn't even have to be bothered with from the get-go. Don't know why they had to have two OLGs. It wasn't like it was that profitable. Because people, you know, she had mixed views on people saying this, that, and the third. So why would you go get another one? And then, girl. But anyway, um, going back to the uh, the house that she sold. Um, 
<laughs> excuse me the all brick traditional ranch has been completely updated inside the property sits on two acres on a private cul-de-sac the amenities include a wood burning fireplace expansive master suite and a luxurious master bath with jetted tub okay i think she did all these upgrades too because you know she was trying to keep her mama in that house you know to you know get the property value going up and mama joyce wasn't feeling it she's like i don't want this i want something new like you and something new so that's another whole story for another whole video going on back Candy also had the kitchen updated with stainless steel and loads of cabinet space the home also comes with an enclosed porch that overlooks the pool area or the pool arm a one bedroom guest home is also featured in the backyard so that's probably what she was trying to get mama joyce <laughs> <laughs> oh, then again, I know I, I ain't gonna do Mama Joy like that. Cause Mama Joy ain't gonna have no or we call that uh, in law suite or or you know that way you put your parents where you don't really want them on your space, but you can't trust them to be alone, so you put them on your property. Okay, get them a little space like a little closed in apartment type setting, but you know they ain't in your main main house. But they have all the amenities of being in a house. But I think that was, uh, she didn't close that into making it a private studio. Because she was still working on music and doing that thing. Because I think they showed it on one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta's episodes. Doing whatever season, I don't know. Okay, but she did have a, a um, what do you call it, on property. On her property, uh, a, a studio where she was mixing beats and stuff like that and producing music because i think she even had um kim zoziak come out to her house one time and they were working on a track for her so that would be nice even if she had took out equipment out and it was just like a you know second um piece of property that she could use for uh in-house or uh, a beach not beach well it could it could be a a pool area but it could just be a guest bedroom that's outside of the main house uh, but anyway, the Real Housewives star owns her main home in Atlanta. The property is a seven-bedroom, ten-bathroom mansion that features a heated pool with bar, elevator, uh, five-car garage, and an intense security system. Okay, probably something like T.I.M. got over there um, at their home because that's what it pretty much sounds like. But then we saw both of their homes. and, and they, In comparison, they kind of are similar. Uh, but anyway, going back to the article, it said the home sale comes as Candy is dealing with a ton of drama with two restaurants she runs with her husband, Todd Tucker. Uh, the couple's business has been, wait a minute, they said two restaurants. I thought they had three. Did she close down one and we didn't know about it? Shall she close down one of the OLG restaurants? Shout Shout Did she close down one of her restaurants, OLG? Cause that ain't talking about she just had two. Okay, but I don't know. Maybe she ain't on the one that was downtown somewhere. Uh, in the heart of Atlanta. Or offset of Atlanta. Well, I don't know. We, we ain't worried about it. But anyway, in this report, they're reporting. Um, she has two restaurants she runs with her husband, Todd Talker. Uh, the couple's business has been hit with two federal liens over unpaid taxes. The second lien filed by the IRS accuses the Burris Tucker Restaurant Group LLC of owing $5,156.50 in back taxes on a 2021 bill. Canyon Todd run two spots named OL, uh, OL Lady Gang and Blaze. Okay, that's the three of them. So what they said too? Well, maybe only two of them getting hit with a, a lien or something. But anyway, the two were hit with separate liens. See there? over twenty twenty bill, where they are accused of owing fifteen thousand eight hundred and twelve dollars and fifty two cent. On top of that, Candy Todd's restaurant have struggled to maintain passing health scores. Back in May, Blaze was he held. Blaze was head. Wait a minute, Blaze was. I think they misprinted this, but Blaze had to shut down temporarily, temporarily after a health inspector gave them a failing grade. Now, that's the Blaze. That's the uh, seafood and steak restaurant they had. Okay, the last of their collection of restaurants. <coughs> so, they had closed down because they had a failing grade. Meaning, what was going on, girl? Were you not keeping it clean, sanitized? What was going on? I'm pretty sure they hit you hard. Well, maybe the, you know, the ice container wasn't closed or... You know, temperatures weren't 
at the peak of where they should have been. Could have been a, a, a level lower than what it was. You know, I know. I, I hear about it. I worked in restaurants before. Well, I ain't worked in a restaurant. I wrote at one restaurant when I was 15 and a half. And they are kind of very, oh, what do you call it? Unfair, I guess, at times. You to be, you know, not having a word to really portray what I wanted to say. But they are very uh, steadfast of how they want things done, and they don't cut corners. And if you ain't got it, you ain't good, and you ain't getting a good inspection. That's pretty much basically cut and dry how it is. So uh, going back to the article, it says the report said the employees had Im improperly handled food. The official said they had observed hot potential ha hazardous food received at less than 135 degrees, expired food being used, and food not being proper properly labeled. Okay, both restaurants have had a sea health score at the, at the moment. Candy has never publicly addressed the problems facing her businesses or revealed any steps she took to fix things, as she should. Don't say nothing. You're not qualified. Get your PR person out there. Get you a real manager that know what they're doing. Make sure your shelf is on point. Pay them people what they were. And then you shouldn't have these issues. But evidently, you're cutting corners, Candy. You ain't letting a real professional come in there and manage doing what it needs to be done. And you wouldn't have these issues. So why are you trying to, to unload that house, your first house you had? And I ain't got no problem with it. You know, if this causing you, you know... You don't want to be bothered with no more because you ain't living there. You ain't got nobody living there. I could see it. But if you had to sell this house to minimize the other uh, bills and, and liens you were going through, that's piss poor. Okay, that's piss poor. <coughs> and it seemed like you got Todd Tucker's name written all over it. And I would drop them. And I ain't meant some words. If he causes some of the infrastructure, if he causes some of the pain with these restaurants and you got to drop him too but then again who knows he may not have nothing to do with it you know it just may be everything focused on getting taught in trouble but you know you it ain't seem like he came out with nothing and you know you can't keep throwing money in a in a in a or uh, they call it a empty bottomless pit because everything that you bring in is going to go in that pit and that means what are you going to be high and dry and out for the count. And you know Mama Joyce ain't going to have that. Mama Joyce, she's going to be on both y'all asses what's going to happen. Because she needs everything to stay kosher. However she living, she want to continue living that way until the Lord calls her home. And anything and anybody that disturbs that peace that she needs will pay for it dearly. And hopefully it is filmed somewhere <laughs> so we can see her. Oh, getting y'all together okay but that's all i have for this video y'all just really trying to figure out what in the hell was going on why is candy selling you know her precious home that she had since 1996 what is going on with that okay because to me i would have thought she would have had that uh for a very long time you know in her uh many other investments that she has put away but desperate times come, des desperate measures, I guess. And if she's not looking at this situation uh, closely, sh you know, things are going to start depleting financially for her if she don't get a grasp and a hold of things of that nature, okay? But that's all I had for this video. And my cohorts, Aretha Franklin, uh, thank you so much for being a part of it. And Cat Williams, okay? Giving us those fresh facial expressions that are just priceless, okay? The, uh, it's just like the expression is worth a thousand words <laughs> that you don't have to put out there. But y'all get down in those comments. You know, none of this was my business. But I found it interesting to talk about. And I thought I would come on the tube to my channel and talk with it. Talk over it with it with my family here on YouTube. So y'all can weigh in and see, hey, what is going on? <laughs> With Candy, okay? With Todd. With possibly Mama Joyce. Woo, child. But that's all I got. God bless her. And I'll see y'all next video.